What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. And this is episode 45, which will be an hour special. So to pick up where we left off, uh, the garrison around Panama um, was going to be intercepted or be surrounded by two Spanish armies. So rather than be on the defensive in this instance, we have decided to march out of our city, attack this smaller force first, which is very depleted, before turning around and then engaging this force which is coming which has been coming down from their capital so without further ado let us destroy this spanish force yeah we've got quite a good opportunity here to massively aid spanish forces in south america which then leaves us open to which is a valuable region and holds lots of mining resources uh, i feel Field artillery is not going to be super critical here. What is going to be more important is the speed at which I can surround their army and make them rout. We've not got much cavalry, so we're not going to be doing much chasing down. let our artillery open up just push up our infantry as fast as they can as fast as they can run because these are all very 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 weak troops and even his colonial cavalry if, even if they decide to do something it's not going to really matter at the end of the day there we go First conflict on the left, on the right, sorry, is Mounted Tribal Auxiliary. But the order of the day is to keep pushing around the flank. You guys try and catch hold of the light horse. Although, actually, it looks like it's not going to matter. They're not going after my guns. Pivot the flank around. Get the cavalry behind their rear. You guys deploy the square. Get my general around the flank. I'm particularly enthused because um, you'll have seen my update video that I've actually just. Um, I've just. Well, you'll have seen my update video by now, but I'm going to start putting in a start recording a uh, Rome Remastered campaign which I'm pretty excited for to love Rome. Get my cavalry to hit, my cavalry to hit the native musket auxiliary then to hit the colonial militia. Let's get my general around the flank to start to hit this colonial militia. Even though they are very weak, um, we don't want them just escaping. We do want to try and destroy as much as possible. As, kill as many of them as possible. Okay, focus on the colonial militia then. So you guys chase down that colonial militia unit. Um, I'm already anticipating their forces receiving quite a big pummeling from our forces already. But these guys are just getting shot, just shot to bits already. Yeah, the anticipation has been fairly quick fold. These guys just let's get them to get them to turn guard mode off and just chase down whoever they want. Yeah, there they go. So with that musket art unit and the general's bodyguard, that'll be all she wrote. Can you go after that? 
Plenty of militia unit. Just, just push it, Matt. Yep, you guys go after that 16. So you guys are going after a big old unit. And I am going to speed up time, um, just because this won't last very long. Yeah, they won't stand. The general won't stand. One punishment to kill. Good. Kill that colonial line infantry. Damn right, we're going to continue. Yeah, we could have wrecked absolute havoc if we had more cavalry. Um, but I'm okay with not having that level of balance yet. Chiefly um, because. Right now, this is a, a battle-winning army, still. You know, it's a good artillery mix. Good uh, good amount of infantry, so there's, no, there's nothing really inherently wrong with it. So this last unit is probably going to rout successfully, but if they do, that's okay. Well, I mean, if they do, look at that. They're going to get there, no trouble. Yeah, but that army been gutted. Down 300 men. And they've been <laughs> butchered. Avanti! Um, I'm going to quickly check the recording moment because I've changed uh, my audio setup. So now it's going through voice meter. So I, wanna, I have done tests before this episode, but I wanted to check. I want to check just a minute to see if it's actually working. So just a second, everyone. And I'm back. And I'm, I'm going to be a bit louder now. Um, Tests I did before the recording showed I was a bit too, I was a bit too quiet, no, a bit too loud. Sorry, so I dialed it down. But let's go dial it down. Too much. That at the start of the episode rather than at the end of it. You know, you can only plan for so much. You know, this other army, which, again, its significant component is militia. So I'm not feeling the need for too many um, battle shenanigans and that's the thing with having an army like this is your tactics are simple we've got our infantry a core of infantry going up the center we've got a unit coming up the flank specifically to push their flank detachments We've got cavalry. Only one unit of cavalry pushing up. Our artillery is going to be auto firing their guns. So we're marching right down the muzzle of their artillery, which I'm okay with. Let's check they are actually engaging appropriately. Oh, damn audio trouble. So we're pushing up the left flank. They've got cavalry inbound, which you might have to respond with a few hasty squares, which would be annoying, but not critical. You can't form square, so you need to just get a volley off. Who's this on the flank? Colonial militia. Okay, my left, my flank brigade needs to run. trouble with this cavalry because it's mo chiefly uh, not very good quality cavalry so they can't really stand up to our to our volleys as it stands anyway advance right up into their face push up close distance Charge them into the f charge my general into their flank. We're getting bombarded by good artillery. Oh nuts! You guys don't shoot. Go on. If the, if the 
eighth can fire from the flank of this attack, cause it to collapse completely. Gotta quickly make sure you guys don't do something stupid like shoot my general. Same with you. So I want to be watching this fight in the center, um, but I had to go make sure they weren't going to do anything too dumb. So my native infantry is going in. These guys are going to secure the hill. Horse artillery can secure the guns. Not my horse artillery, my my field artillery. Here comes another push. Let's run my general in to go take out that militia unit. They're pretty ballsy here. Pushing their militia units into the front in that manner. Oh, actually, you guys go after their infantry. Their artillery can be dealt with in the... Uh, in a following push. But the, uh, the... This absolute, just delicious block of men not doing anything. Okay, you guys push up to the, uh, to the small farm shed. Okay, so we're not going to be able to get so many kills as we like, because we just won't have the uh, capacity. Hello, artillery crew. To be honest, let's bring my general over here to this mass as well. We need to hunt these, these guys like sharks. These gunners are going to have a torrid time. Okay, you guys start to attack the furthest ones. My general can attack the closest ones. General's bodyguard is behind the lines. Let's see if I can hit them with a blast of field artillery. I'm watching the guns in the background to see when they fire. Guns are fired. Yeah, just attack and kill him. Their uh, general's not going to do very much. Who's left? Shoot this demi cannon crew. They're standing here. Um, seemingly at like the very edge of most areas line of fire you guys push up a fraction then pour some fire towards those demi cannon gunners these men that slaughtered your comrades And then speed up time, because their general is going to get, well, notionally actually, their general should, there we go, the answer I was looking for was shot to pieces by the square. Ah, oh, there's some unit back here as well, oh. The demi cannon crew are somewhere. Let's go for a bayonet charge. these militiamen will not stand they're not formed up to fire at us either so they are gonna get pummeled I have turned guard mode off so they will chase them There 
they go, they broke. Then you've broken. There is a gun crew somewhere around here. Oh no, let's continue and then let's speed up time. Now my infantry chase some people down. Because they're already doing a fairly good job as it is. There you go, my cavalry can take over killing this bundle of militia. Run my men away before they get charged down. It's unfortunate this regiment of horse doesn't seem able to pathfind to kill these guys suitably. Decisive victory. Again, those are the words we always want to see. Victory is ours. You're a spent force. Let's pick up some men back pick some men back up. So we do have a force that's a bit isolated uh, marching on the capital. Um, although they are replenishing and they're much more balanced than the other forces. And they don't really have a significant amount of men to oppose them either. Up here in Quebec, we do have a large French contingent heading our way, but again, Senior these guys are also colonial troops, and we are expanding our holdings in the region anyway. And then in Europe... Uh, got our admiral flagships... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm sure one of our places we. I was going to build it into a steam dry dock. Or did I decide to not do that and instead continue with the naval hospital? Because one theory is that it's actually a. Uh, you can recruit from the steam dry dock first rates. So I might cancel the building of these fourth rates. Although, can I build it here? In Gibraltar? Yes! Okay. So let's upgrade the dry dock. Yeah, because apparently it's a thing we might be able to actually re re uh, build first rates in uh, dry docks. Steam dry docks rather than um, rather than naval hospitals. Because I looked at the roster for the looked at the roster for the Knights of St. John and we should be able to recruit first rates. Um, but again, just because I thought that battle, I'm going to stop and quickly check my audio. So, one second. Yep, yeah, checked out some, some clips from that last battle and it looks, it seems pretty good to me. Rightio, um, so. Right now, I think things are okay. The naval side is the bit we need to really improve. Um, but again, uh, based on previous history, uh, I need to push a hand attack and make some gains in the Americas to help expand my economy. We're at 21,000 a turn, which is pretty good. So let's see if we can just make a peace and trade with the Prussians. Nope. Okay, 11 turns till we get steam workshops. So we're gonna I really want some of these up, 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 upgraded techs. But I can't really get them. Mexico's not really been upgrading them. France can't build one there anyway. I'd have to capture Paris, which again I don't really want. Unless I could capture it and then immediately abandon it just to unlock the tech. That could be a strategy. Um although if I could if if I could somehow take Paris and then declare peace with the French, they could be of my buffer states. Hmm. So we do have some chaps coming towards us in uh, in in Spain, but I'm not concerned. I mean, this army's got some quite good units in it. We're starting to work on quicklime, so maybe the way to do this is to put Oxford onto quicklime as a bit more of a strategic necessity and get you onto power looms instead. Okay, but let's hit and turn and let's see. Will they come after us? 
I mean, Quebec is where they're coming after us, <laughs> clearly. That's a lot of stacks. Um, am I going to intercept? Yes, because I want to try and de uh, disrupt their forces in as advan advantageous of a position as possible. So, yes. I am going a stack and a half of troops fairly easily which is quite pleasant and then once I get my other army built I can then start but again it might also be good to start to threaten Paris so do we have any breaches nope yeah these are my I dislike uh, these walls um, chiefly because they generally seem a lot more buggy to defend. So let's put Ian you know, Militia to sit here on the fire step above the gate. Uh, put some grenadiers in. in Backup positions they can push up when things get messy. Let's put some more of my line infantry up here as well. The guns, I'm tempted to drop as far back as possible to see if I can lob shells over the, the wall. My general just hold back. And then I've got this infantry standing by, which is pretty good, I think. So let's see if my guns can fire over the walls. I don't think they will. I think they're more likely to actually do damage because they're attacking units that are fairly close to us. So the howitzer is over here. That's the component that might cause trouble. So over here on this flank, we've got a couple of units, guerrilla mercenaries, colonial line. We, got, we do have a, a weakened wall back here. So I need to get, make sure these units are actually garrisoning the walls properly because some of them have some quite good targets, actually. So it's in my interest to make sure that like these guys, for example, can fire their guns and so on against the infantry. And then what you end up doing is taking this infantry and go, okay, you guys take position on this wall grenadiers take position on this gatehouse just so they're ready to move along the wall if necessary these howitzers are max range they're not going to be dropping quick climb on us or anything but they might just be enough to knock do some damage to uh some of our walls and eventually make a way in. Well, they've got the sixth foot guard, Royal Escosse. They're the ones to watch out for if they get up on the wall. And these guys have done their business. Killed quite a decent chunk of them, but I'm probably going to speed up time and see what they're going to do. Because I'm not going to respond. Maybe not max speed. I'm not going to respond. Um, if they want to redeploy, they're welcome to redeploy. But right now... Um, it serves me no benefit to move, because right now I've got no reason to. Okay, right. Turn you guys off and then back on again. Because I want them to also... F well, the cannons are what do the most damage. 
And obviously, as soon as I say that, they decide to uh, not even pick the guns up. So let's run you into position. Then fire at will ya. Once these guys get into position, you guys get up there. And they've manned the guns. And they've fired. Good stuff. I mean, they've missed, but... But what I'm going to do is, because they're not really doing anything, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when uh, when they actually attack. Because right now they're just wandering around. So, see you in a second, everyone. Okay, I finally think they've uh, decided to attack. Uh, well, got a new Grinnell mercenaries pushed up. Uh, all they did was run around here for a while and just get shot at. But it looks like they've now decided to change their minds and actually try and attack. So they've got their artillery, the, the howitzer, that's now engaging this section of the wall. So at least it's doing something. And there's one thing that militia, you know, militia's not good for a whole lot of reasons, but one thing they definitely can do is squash a irregular unit. So one of the few units that's actually worse than them in melee combat. And that the militia seriously outnumber. So they're going to get chewed up. Come on, when he's in position. To be honest, I think they might actually be doing damage here by accident. Well, you're just standing there. These men aren't even engaging. Alright, well, you guys should be attacking those militia right there. There we go. Take position up on the walls. And then you should do a whole load of damage. Yes, like that. Put a cannon shot right through their centre. Oh, you were about to fire before you reposition. Yeah, the artillery is focusing on that unit, but they're not not to. I don't know. They're not really. They're not really trying to actually do anything at the moment. They are trying to climb up this section here. Well, I've got my grenadiers there. But at the very least, these militia here are going to chew these Ottawa scouts to pieces. And they're climbing out the wall. Okay, let's send you to come and take them down. To be honest, I don't think these guys can fire from that position. You guys ought to be doing some good shots into those mercenaries. No, don't march down to them, you fools. quite know what they're, these guys are doing but they're more than welcome to be shot at by my grenadiers or not as it may appear ah, the word 
first because they are going to attempt to scale the wall there. Okay, let's start to bring units up to this section of the wall. Because this is going to be what starts to bleed you Gang units. Well, attacking units. Just keep wearing down ones that are trying to scale the wall. So that's why I've got another unit of Marines, another unit of Lion to help support this push. Let's probably get. Can you guys get you onto guard mode on? Attack the Ottawa Scouts. Let's get a unit down here to also get ready to feed up into the, this Royal Escosse push. Because they're pretty good. Right now we've got we're attacking a lot of mercenaries, so I'm not so bothered about that. These colonial militia are starting to gain a foothold. Keep pushing them back. Don't let them get a foothold. Maybe... Wait. No, we killed one of their captains. I was about to say, we haven't killed a general, per se. Okay, let's put another unit up here. To help back up that grenadier unit. Because it looks like they've got a lot of mercenaries heading their way. Mercenaries coming up. that offensive just need to charge these guys into the Royal Escossay because they are they outnumber my infantry and they are better than my infantry but then what it might be time for is I also tried to move my units over here to try and bombard their artillery but that didn't happen um, but it might be time to put in a breach don't have one. Their artillery seems pretty incompetent at making one. Over here may actually be the best position because if they all advance from this direction I can get some good cannon shots from these walls as they march around to try to get in. Because right now, it feels like without a breach, they're just kind of wandering. But if I give them a breach, they'll pull the whole damn army in. You stay where you are for now. Let's action that. Let's get that to be a thing. Let's pull you guys back. So you defended the push. Oh, let's put one unit, that unit into the walls. The unit. So, this unit of 67, you guys, you've done enough. I could 
probably deal with it. Duke is having a marine unit like that. I need to put you more like that. Then just try and really stack in some troops. Because right now this unit, this position is 66% breached. Or 66% destroyed. So I'm not overly... It's not going to take very long. Let's put a hole in that wall. Turn fire it will off just to make sure they don't prosecute their own targets. Let's speed up time a little bit. And let's attack ground this side of the wall. But these guys should, like that. Some will undershoot, some will, but some will overshoot. And it's the overshooting ones that will eventually put a hole in this wall. So I'm going to speed up time right now because not a whole lot's happening except these guys are trying to push up this section of the wall. Come on. You guys over. Got these great ideas. Attacking the the 95th Regiment of Colonial Line. Holy hell, that just shows how much Colonial Line they've got. How much infantry they've got. They've already got 95 Regiments of Colonial Line. Okay, you guys also in Limber so I can pull these guys out of the way to help destroy the wall and then I'll bring them back in. They're throwing two units into this. Well, a guerrilla mercenary unit and an infantry unit. Fame aim just this side, just at the base. See, if they aim at the far side, actually, does that actually improve? Do they actually target or do they just go, no, we can't see it. There's nothing there to shoot at. We're not going to shoot. Yeah, so it has to be this side. Attack ground within line of sight. 81%. Because this will do us in good stead um, later on. Because it will allow us to... It will allow us to... Uh, more easily annihilate their reinforcing armies. But again, this is a bit unpredictable. I mean, it's not necessary. It might not be completely necessary now because most of their troops are gone. But the problem is, is well, they're not going to um, push forward in a way that we would prefer. So what we're going to have to do is make it so that everyone's got a way in, and then see if that. Uh, can you guys stop what you're doing? You guys go back to here. You guys begin just blasting it with a canister shot. And if they don't do anything now, which I predict is what's going to happen, then all I'm probably going to do is... Just... Who are, they, so who are the hearts are shooting at? None of my units reported being under fire. Yeah, it looks like they don't want to, they don't want to attack. That's why they're all pushed in up there. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is chop the recording here, because otherwise it would feel super lame to make you guys watch all of that. So, see you in a second, everyone. Well, I turned my back for a minute and sat there watching my phone. And here they come. So some of the units are pushing in to the breach, exactly where I want them to be. Some of them are starting to run to places that are a bit vulnerable. Um, but the usual result, the usual result is the uh, units throw up their grappling irons, get ready to make their way up there. Ooh, pikes. Let's bring you guys over there. 
the, the general trend is they will act as though they are going to actually assault the walls. <laughs> I was about to say and not actually do it. These guys are actually doing it. Okay, in which case then... Bring our grenadiers back. Oh, you got, oh, you got to hit them. Our grenadiers in colonial line have to come back because you guys have to go hit this colonial militia unit. Let's give the unit inside the town a bit more flexibility. Bring in like this colonial line to go try and knock out this mercenary unit. Come on, in you go. To be honest, you guys might have to stay out there. Bring you guys up onto the wall as planned. There we go, we've pushed back one unit of militia. Let's bring this colonial line unit over here. See, what are you guys going to do? So let's fight back these fellows. We are being bombarded by artillery, so this section of the wall may just collapse entirely. If you guys want to push up over the wall, that's fine. Yeah, I'm bringing you guys to bear against these mercenaries. So some of the troops are pushing around. Okay, yeah. You guys have are with are not withdrawing, but you're not pushing. You are going to make a show of it. So let's bring you over. So you might successfully push back that unit of mercenaries, that unit of militia. Get out of position. Still do have some of them trying to get through the front, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. Because we can do significantly more damage to them with less risk to our infantry this way than we can defending them on the walls. Like there, there you go. So these guys have lost 60 men. So what's that? Nearly a quarter of their unit for free. Pretty much. You guys need your fire, Will. Because doing it this way is fine, um, but it does result in more losses. That's just inevitable. There we go. Get pulsed in all directions. Bring you guys off the wall completely. These mercenaries try to charge me through the wall as is tradition.
you guys take positions on the wall here. We've got the 26th pushing in through the gatehouse, or pushing in through the breach. Being peppered by shots from the 13th from the barracks. <laughs> routing already. They will probably come back. Are these guys are going to charge my wall. I mean, they might actually push up. You never know. Building lost gatehouse. Hey. Well, I guess what you guys are going to deal with this. I'm probably okay with trading shots like that, because we'll probably win that engagement in the end. Okay, let's fire it well off here. Speed up time just to make it not have to last forever. They don't want to manage. They don't. They don't want to take up position outside any gates. You guys, I did set to push and attack the forty-second. Yeah, they're probably charging us somewhere. Charging us around the corner of the wall. This sort of fight here. Turn off, fire at will. Because otherwise they will just sit there and shoot into the backs of my men. Charge the mercenaries. The guys that originally got repulsed are on their way back in. This has just been a bit of a messy battle, really. has been pushed back. These guys have been pushed back. Are you guys, the 82nd Regiment of Foot, are you guys going to try and push in? Although you're going to get shot at a little bit. Good. We might have a second breach developing, which I'll probably be okay with. These mercenaries are likely to lose a prolonged shooting engagement with my men on the wall. Then these militia have pushed up some of their men, but not all of them. Stop playing. Yeah, so they routed for a few losses. run you over here to engage into the flank of the 43rd Regiment of Militia. But to be honest, it's speed up time. Um, chiefly because it's more or less the end of it. The 28th is walking away. Let's just get everyone that can be shot at in this section, just get them out of the way. Um, seven minutes left. I'm calling it a messy win. The bulk of their good units are pushing back. So I think I'm going to chop the recording once more and bring you guys back when it's over. So personally, I want this over. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. There we go. And victory is ours, and it's a very, very... It's not the sort of win that's good, because we did lose a thousand men. We've damaged two of their armies. But uh, we need to do a lot more damage, a lot more efficiently than that in future engagements. And the, the key to that will be winning on the battlefield. That will be crucial, because right now we aren't... Uh, it's all to resolve, right? <laughs> Okay, 
Because as of right now, we don't really have that... The true battle-winning capability of howitzers and quicklime. You guys need to replenish and form a, form a broad defence. You guys need to push and then land. Oh. <laughs> look at that for a <laughs> look at that for a balance of power. Demand surrender. Okay, so now we've done this, I might try and go. Okay, based on the fact that France has now been generating lots of threats. So they don't... They, they're indifferent to us, actually. That's not bad. We can push them all north of Panama and keep their... Um, keep the danger north of that region. Let's send this spy up to Antigua to keep our eye on what's going on. But importantly, this frees up this army. Which... If I exempt them from tax, can leave, can march up to the port, to Cartagena, and uh, be used for offensive action against the French, which I think is the is the play here. I think. So Bogota, you need top roads. You've got a good amount of mining income, so let's pick up your best mine, high yield silver mine. Or is it a gold mine? High yield silver mine gives you the most amount of money quicker. Madrid. Yeah, you're here, so you might have to push this army out and go hit Hamol Le Notre. Let's pick up that palatial state, but let's go back up to here first. So, all of the damaged units, or the smallest units, leave the army, where they can re they can uh, replenish in in a slightly quieter time. This very experienced unit, you're going to share your experienced troops around other regiments to top them up. And then you yourself and this militia are going to leave. These two army units take position instead. Okay, so they are going to recruit howitzers. Although, to be honest, I might recruit howitzers. Recruit four howitzers. And then a militia unit, because I would like to provide howitzers for both this army and the army to the rear. Uh, you also need some cavalry. Probably some dragoons. So channels recruiting ships. North West Atlantic loads in New France. Um, okay. Because at least getting New Spain off our backs, it does mean we have fewer concerns when it comes to trade. Like a few of our, a bit of some of our trade routes have been opened up. Sweden is still our major trade trade partner, which I really, really hope we don't lose. Still upgrading Cadiz. Our tech is still ongoing. Spanish army here. March out. And let's go do a lot of damage to Hamon Le Notre. Do worse. Which isn't going to be ideal. And let's hunker back. Even though I'm on the offensive. If I hunker back, I could engage them at range. And Although, no. They own the ridge. Okay. Field artillery. You guys can sit here. Line infantry. Form an almighty line. Push up. Cavalry going to advance hard on the flanks. Howitzers. 
begin firing carcass shot at whoever you can. And we know it will likely be the guns. Field artillery is opening. How the hope the field artillery is opened up at the heavy horse artillery, which isn't, a, which isn't a bad target to go for, especially as they're all unlimited. Yeah, it's quick, Lime. Sorry, the 45th. Take a quick line bullet for us. For your people. Man, heavy horse guard artillery is routed already. Oh, mortars have engaged again, but it's a miss. Val artillery is routing. You guys all drop into square. You guys push up. Field artillery just engaged. Just begin bombarding. Men in the centre. You guys drop into square. The cavalry is going to hit you. And you're probably going to then. charging. There go the mortars. There go the grenadier guards. Horse grenadier guards on that flank. Sometimes there's just not a lot you can do. Uh, how it is continue doing what they're gonna do round shot engage their artillery oh artillery inbound not after the game guards, they're all landing into the center. Okay, you guys all charge in to hit the Grenadier Guards. Let's get these Marines around on the flank. Get this cavalry back. You guys hit the Hussar de Bechemi. That have hit my colonial line. To be honest, let's get my marines in there as well. As the rolling musket fire begins to engulf them. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Colonial light. You work your way around the rear. Same with this cavalry unit. Work themselves around. Ready to intercept. Come here, their infantry is moving. Western European infantry mercenaries. Poor souls. Although my guys probably have to reload. I hit the Griepval siege artillery. Now the Marines are going to have good fun. Hit the 24 pounder guard artillery. Oh, no. Artillery all hit. 
hit the night. Go on, kill that last gunner. Then engage these infantry guardsmen. Well, foot guards. Let's just stop my field artillery from firing. You carry on doing what you're doing. So these guys are just pouring fire into the bad guys. And that is the French. Yeah, we're going to continue. We're going to mow down Frenchmen. Okay, let's stop the howitzers from engaging. And let's speed up time. It's probably going to be a lot of friendly fire and so on, but... Yeah, General go hit. Those Western European mercenaries. Clear him out. There we go. It's the line infantry guards taken out. No, they've escaped, sadly. Go hit the 9th Regiment. To be honest, they're all going to go hit the 9th Regiment. shouldn't be well they are going to escape still because they're spread out all over the shop and i am not about to manually drive them around the map <laughs> that way lies madness but that was a good win the terrain was difficult we only lost 300 men they only have 100 remaining so that's them pushed back you guys stay in position and you can replenish what you can in position good In terms of construction, we've got a couple of military buildings, a couple of military building and a couple of industrial buildings done. We yeah, definitely want to spy out there to keep an eye on New Spain. They've been pushed back to two regions. Um, now the question is, do I land another army up north? Well, this army, do I land it up north? I think the answer is probably yes. I want to land them and I'll go hit Acadia. To help split up their effort. Or maybe go take out Newfoundland. Let's go have a look at their garrison. Welcome oh no, they do actually have an army there. Not a very good one, it's just mostly militia. And the general's actually negative. That, and they're actually doing a lot of building. They're upgrading the farm, the government building the port... So, yeah, let them have it. They'll upgrade it for me. But from Quebec, I think we impact their transit across here, maybe. Um, but yeah, at least we're a bit more prepared for it now. Again, let's hit end turn. Chiefly what I want is that uh, is a second army built in Quebec that can march out and conduct some offensive operations against the French. You've fallen back to French territory, the other stack has marched towards us. I mean, if I do conquer Paris and make peace, it will definitely want to be afterwards, I've, after I've made a good dent in their uh, colonial holdings. Raids up here in Quebec, but I want to go back to Spain chiefly. Take you. Upgrade your men. March to the south. I was going to march to the south and intercept them and attack them anyway, so not a big deal. Let's take them out. Is They've actually got quite a significant and elite arms. 
so this won't be as simple as uh, as, as, <laughs> as some of our previous battles against primarily colonial troops. Uh, where makes sense to put the artillery? Probably over here. Again, our best option, in my opinion, is when you've got this amount of superiority, uh, what you really want to do is push push and surround, break their morale, and then uh, knock them out of the game. Personally, that's my, that's my opinion anyway. So while we might not have qualitative superiority, we, have, we do have more men to enable us to more easily surround and engulf. We do want to change our artillery targets to have a bit more variety. Yes, I see you, cavalry. Grenadiers à la garde. No. Grenadier à cheval de la garde. And they go, yes, they're great. They're guard cavalry. Form square, and they will die as easily as any other cavalry. So focus one unit on the guard Swiss, another unit on the 112th regiment. There, you guys get out of dodge. Surround and engulf and charge the Cheval de la Garde. Knock them out of the out of the equation fairly quickly. Why are you wavering? Focus the artillery fire on the centre more so than anywhere else. Actually, quickly a chase. Yeah, there we go. Lots of their cavalry is actually within range. Let's fall my dragoons back because things aren't going well for them. Their marines are about to try and charge us. Let's switch our artillery to hit the Agilvy regiment to the rear. Some spikes going down in the centre. Actually, field artillery, engage them. That's a great target for you guys. Up on the hill. No one nearby. Fucking bombard these grenadiers. Enough. Really, I don't want my cavalry to attack them. I want my cavalry around on the flank. And these two units can push around like so. Gilvy regiment has recovered. At least we'll get the grenadier, the grenadier, or right, or right, or Roy, or Roy, or whatever. Let's 
try to get my cavalry to fall back, but it may well rout. Yeah. Understandable. See, the infantry does stand. Everyone else, once the infantry's gone, these skirmishes and so on should fall fairly well. You guys should. The Grenadier Guard should struggle against my infantry. I don't like the fact that when I click on the go over near the guard switch, I hear charging noises. Field artillery go after this regiment of Grenadier Guards. Well, mounted horse Grenadier Guards. There they go. To be honest, charge you straight into their artillery. 24 pound of guard artillery is not bad. Uh, go after the Agilvy regiment because at least they're close together. Go after the guard Swiss. Kill the horse artillery. I mean, my guys are shooting into my position. Go after the 24 pound of guard artillery, please. The rest of you march your way around. You did catch up to the Ogilvy Regiment. Good. Artillery, go after the general. Yeah. Swiss Guard or the Guard Swiss have broken. There goes the Flanders Regiment. Go, everyone's routed. Continue. Your staff, the Agilvy Regiment. You are chasing down the Flanders Regiment. And you're going to kill as many as you can, excepting that in some instances uh, we are limited by uh, numbers of cavalry in our units. Come on, take out the Agilvy Regiment. Good. Chase after that regiment there. You guys chase them down. Ah, oh, they're split up. I hate it when they're split up. It's not so bad microing one unit trying to kill a split up set of troops. But when you've got loads of cavalry, it either goes really well and they seem to already know to spread out. But most of the time, they don't. There we go. The second foot guards, garrison guards, are gone. We've lost a lot of men, or more men than I'd like. 500 men, so, you know, nearly 25% of my force. So these guys aren't going to pursue. They're going to hold in position. So we built a water power cloth mill in Portugal. Recruiting troops in New France. Siamo pronti. You're still replenishing. Okay, you will be you will be fully replenished. I'd like to send one army out to go and knock out uh, Emery Beaufort. But this army's made it to the trade port here. Um, do here's a good question. The answer is no. Yeah, we need to recruit a ship from somewhere else. Let's get a sixth rate over there to transport that army. 
Let's force here at Panama, since you are fully replenishing. And let's upgrade some of our infrastructure here at Panama. Let's get uh, Puerto Bello. Is it the port? It is the port. Good stuff. My agent's still moving north. And apart from that, I mean, I don't understand how this region's doing quite so well on the religious unrest front. But I suppose the religious unrest is going down because it's now English. Okay, don't worry about this yet. To be honest, I think a, a good Not chunk of our that. recruitment effort still needs to be up north. Well, until Quebec runs out of capacity, then then yeah. <laughs> a lot of troops and they've got artillery and they've got quick climb and I don't six more turns till that happens till we even even things up it was the best thing to spend the money on well it's got to be economy let's get a governor's mansion there let's great Cadiz let's by let's buy the next barracks cool uh, but yeah the lack of a modern university is starting to really bite which means we will have to push in and attack Paris but I'd rather do that after we've got a good chunk of North America under our control until that happens pushing in Europe is a bit of a risky endeavour. Yeah, I think I definitely do need to deploy that army to the north. I mean, whew, for a minute there, I thought they were going to run around and attack uh, Madrid. They want Ring Bennett for 1200. Ring Bennett, such an early game tech. Yeah. I'll take money for that. Oh, that's not good. I mean, hmm. no. I was going to, I was tempted to accept in order to uh in order to, you know, have someone to maybe put the Ottomans off from attacking, but I don't think that's going to happen. And plus, yeah, I decided not to do it, mainly because uh, Sweden is an enemy of Russia and I don't want to annoy them by... Hey, Prussia's bought Guatemala. Okay. <laughs> on, your way, on, on the way up to Guatemala you go. What did you trade that for then? Because usually they trade it with a region. Moldavia. It's not bad. But it doesn't mean that I can push up and secure that first. Um, go hit René Bellu. Just to knock him out. Okay, back over to the Americas. So we've got a 6-3-8. No way, not the God, not the cavalry. Navy, sixth rate. Cartagena, Cartagena. Embark the army. And then let's land. Let's have a look at Falmouth first. Not Falmouth, Fort Nashwack. I mean, it's not protected. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's two grand in tax, which isn't bad. <laughs> worth doing, I think, because it will give us capacity. Oh, I should, I should not have gone <laughs> near Boston. Okay, but it opens up a new front, and it starts to make them think they have to protect 
Boston. I can't believe Boston's actually not nearly worth as much. But I suppose they've got a university there. But yeah, we want to take Fort Nashwack. May even... Now this army's replenished, may even march them up. Because we've got these guys now. Although actually, yeah, you guys need to lose three units of infantry. Be replaced with... Some cavalry and some howitzers. You've got howitzers. Infantry stay behind. You're picking up some guns. Good. A couple of turns and then this army will have two armies here at Quebec ready to push on. Because lots of these are fairly, fairly bland. Yeah, if you push up, take Fort Nashwack. That sounds like a good idea to me. March up and hit Antigua. Panama's okay with us being here. Okay, somewhere we... There we go. Let's start to tax Bogota because we're starting to get some good tech coming out of them. Start some good uh, income, rather. Okay, one more turn to get dried up. Which means I'm probably going to then spend the money on some fourth rate. Not ideal, by a long shot, but... Okay, can we send Mercenary out to secure Porto? Then I can bring Mario... Mario, back to Portsmouth. Good. Okay, so down to tune as we go. Because I see you guys. <laughs> Buy a pair of guns and let's get some cavalry. So we might have to start building up a bit more of a garrison. I mean, we've already got yeah, we've already got you. Nah, more armies won't hurt. To be honest, we could even push and take Rome. Does Rome have a good No. It would have been knocked down. Damn. Okay, let's get this agent. game to start to move down towards Italy because you may as well keep pushing um, let's take this galley and raid Marseille dismantle their trade hmm. I think it might be it might be a good shout to send you guys after Rome. <laughs> uh, no. Maybe maybe it isn't a good shout to send you guys against Rome. Holy hell. That's some good generals. Albrecht Salzmann, August Weinsberger, Thomas Border. Hmm. Yeah. We need a better economy. Uh, do you have any geniuses coming in? Uh, Although it's tempting to do this. Swap them all in. End on this chap. So then I get a whole brand new set of ministers. Okay, good. Hmm. Might actually keep you a bit closer to the city at first. And then I might send them out to start doing some ranging. But let's hit N10, because I've got a feeling we're getting towards the end of the part. I have chopped the recording so many times, I can't really tell. But I've got a, I'm pretty sure if we're at 35 minutes now, on this section, then we're probably pretty darn close. Oh yeah, they're coming up. Uh, do I want to intercept? Probably, actually. I get to engage two armies in the open field, or I can, I can definitely do a lot of damage. And in that case, I am going to chop the recording here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for hopefully the destruction of two Spanish stacks before the gates of Quebec. Cheers, everyone.